Well, we are just about ready to head out on another trip, um, except with fuel prices being like this, I think we're gonna go a different route and go with this. Let's see how it goes. So we're packed for our three week trip. Put everything back here. Here's our trunk. We're actually professional packers. Not only do we have all that trunk space, but the cool part of a Tesla is we have all the hood space too. Yes. All of our merch here. They do, I think. Is everybody ready? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Winnebago View. So the one downside is that we have to stop and charge a lot more. But here we are at a Tesla supercharger. And so it says that we only have to charge for 20 minutes and then we can continue our trip. And so we're gonna actually eat food and so it'll probably take us longer than 20 minutes and so we'll actually get more of a charge which may affect the overall time. One great thing about Tesla superchargers is that they try to put them close to amenities like restaurants, coffee, grocery stores, things like that. And so we will be eating at this place. So the sun is down and we will be charging for a second time. And I think we still have another charge to go before we get to our destination. So where are we gonna go, guys? I think we should go to that place. <laughs> All right. I will say you get much more forced exercise traveling this way, which is probably good. Wow, this is cool.
Here we are. All right. So what should have been about a four and a half hour trip ended up taking us maybe six hours, I think it was, um, because we had to stop and charge three times. Uh, but it saved us about $180 worth of diesel fuel that we would have had to fill our our V with. So it's pretty good savings. And I have to add that we left without being fully charged. And so if we did, and that would have cut our travel time down probably by another hour, which makes it actually not bad at all. Uh, of course, the bummer is, is we don't have beds to sleep in and we don't have a bathroom on board and all those kind of wonderful luxuries that you have in an RV. But, uh, you know, with, with prices of fuel being so crazy high, uh, this is a great alternative for right now and is a real blessing. A wrap on day one of touring with the Tesla and so we definitely saved some money so we got that log and now it's off to the races and I mean that quite literally to tune in next time when we're going to Bristol Motor Speedway and let's see what kind of adventures we can get into there